I'm gonna pretend that this is that that's, I'm, I'm in my living room with friends. That's what I'm gonna pretend. That's it. So um, the 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 story that I wanna share is um, when I first met, who's now my husband. So I was going through a, kind of a very rough uh, patch in my life where I wasn't sure where my life was going. Um, and um, I just was really kind of down and just, just figuring out why, where is my life going? The person I was, whose house I was living at, um, she said to me, she says, you, you barely just get out of your room when you're not working. You just come and sit there. Why don't you you know, go out to um, the movies or do something. And I said, I don't have anybody to go with. And then, you know, she said, well, go by yourself. And I said, oh no, I, I, I can't do that. And then she said, why not? And I said, well, I'm not that type of person. And then she says, well, what do you mean? And, and the reason I had such a strong reaction is um, I am from Colombia and back then, when I was living in Colombia, if a woman went to the movies by herself, it was the equivalent to a woman going here to a bar by herself. That was just sort of like the perception. It's like you're just looking for trouble or to have like a one night stand kind of thing. And I was just kind of offended that she suggested that I would go to the movies by myself. So in that, so she says, oh no, here people go to the movies by themselves all the time. I was at that time in a very small town um, in New York and, um, uh, and she says, oh no, here it's not a problem. So I, and she says, go early so you can just start, have your time to park the car and all of that. And this is back, this is over 20 something years ago when we didn't have the multiplex, um, you know, cinemas, it was just one theater. And I had that little window that faced the outside, it faced the street, and you came and you get your ticket. That was that type of theater. So I got there early and I went and I got my ticket and then you have to wait outside because it's only one, how do you call it, one, only one room? Theater. One, only one theater. There's no, it's just only one moving plane at a time. It was a summer day, it was in June. Once you have your ticket, you wait outside for the people who are in the previous showing to come out and then you start making a line to go into the theater. And as I was into this line, I ended up being behind this family. And they were chatting and they were talking and, and whatever. And I was just by myself. And, and so then he asked the woman, which I thought it was the wife and the daughter, he asked the woman a question about how's, how's the school rock. They were talking about how children's television has changed so much and there were not really nice uh, educational programs for children anymore, and they were talking about how house, house the school rock. So the woman was from California, and I think it was a deep, uh, different age, and that was something that she wasn't familiar with. So he turned to the person behind, which was me, which was almost, I figured I was almost his age, and this, he says, oh, you have to know, you know, a schoolhouse rock. By then I had been in the US for less than a year. And I have no idea. I thought it was a band mm -hmm. because I hear the word rock. And so I thought it was how a school rock was a band. And I said, no, I'm not familiar with that band. And I said, what band? So, so we begin talking and he explained to me what it was. And when by now the line is moving, so I'm behind this family. I'm talking to the husband and we keep going, we keep going. And it's a small theater so you, with the four of us. So his family and I went up in sitting in the same row. And then I see that he's not talking to his wife or his daughter anymore. And I'm like, isn't she gonna get upset or jealous or whatever? And then we end up, I she, you know, when they show the previews, every, you know, the, the wife and the daughter were just focused on those stuff that comes before the questionnaire and the trivia and all that. And he kept talking to me and I see that she's not upset. And I said, well, maybe it's not his wife. Maybe it's his sister. And that's why she's not upset. And then we kept talking and the previews came and we were talking and we were talking and the movie ended and went and then we start coming out. And I see that the wife or the sister or whoever disappeared. Well, they weren't completely related at all. They weren't <laughs> even friends. He was, he had arrived earlier than me and they have arrived earlier than me. And by the time I saw them, they were chatting because they were just waiting and talking. And so they weren't even, 
related at all. They they didn't even know each other. And so we kept talking and we moved into the, you know, kept walking out of the theater, getting to the parking lot. And then we start, we keep talking and all the cars begin to leave. And I, you know, when you're involved in a conversation, we're in the middle of the parking lot. And then all the cars have left and there was only my car in one stream of the parking lot and his car in the other stream of the parking lot. And the police came around and they asked us, asked me, is everything okay? Because we are the only people left in the parking lot. By now it's like 11 o'clock at night because we kept chatting. And then I realized, oh my God, it's this late. I have to go home. And, you know, I, I, I was the, the person that I was living with. She had, you know, her husband and their kids and they have an alarm in the house. And I, and she must have, I don't know what happened to her, but maybe she's not coming tonight. I have no idea. She was worried about me. She thought about it. She was going to call the police because it was my first time to the movies by myself. And then I come into the house. The whole alarm goes off. You know, it's like the police came. It was just like this big, and she was so mad at me. But I was just so excited that I had met this great guy. And then, you know, after all that, happen and, and stuff I just go to the bathroom and then I see myself for the first time in the mirror and of course because I was sad and I was so depressed you know I had the worst hair day no makeup I was wearing a sweatshirt I completely have forgot about that and in my mind I said I'm this is the worst that I could ever look that guy's never gonna call me again and I was just like I went to bed and I said oh and the next day was a whole disaster she was so mad at me she says you cannot live here if you're that irresponsible blah 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 and then almost by the end of the week he called me and he says do you want to go out to the movies again and I, I was you know super excited so this time I dress up I have a dress I have done my hair, I have my makeup, I was wearing a little bit of heels. We met in the same, we were going to meet in the same theater and he was coming after work. And then I'm, I arrive early and then he's running a little bit late and not late, late per se, but not as early as I am. And so he's coming really fast towards me and then he passes me because he didn't recognize How? me. <laughs> and so he passes me and so in his mind he says, and I'm running towards the theater and I see this pretty woman looking at me and smiling. I'm like, I don't know who she is. And then he just keeps going. And then as he passes, my, my face changed. Like, where is he going? Like, it's, you know, when you see somebody coming and then it's like, oh, they, then he kind of passes me. And then I just kind of change my head, my, my face. And he just look and he's like, he's like, whoa. And I said, you look different. <laughs> and, uh, and that was the, the beginning of the, of the relationship. And so when I least was expecting it, that's when we found each other and we have been married for 20 something years, um, 23 years, you know, now. And that's how we met. Wow. <laughs> What was the movie that you saw the first time? Apollo 13 oh, with Tom Hanks. Oh, nice. Houston, we have a problem. Do you remember the second movie as well? Pocahontas. So you're oh. not, you're, you don't have that dementia thing going on. Because okay. we met going to the movies. We have this connection to the movies and it's, one, it's something that we still to this day we enjoy doing together. And I, and I think more than anything else is because that's how we met. So we, we really enjoy going to the movies. We go either we go to the movies or we rent movies or we watch movies. It's something that we do often because we have that connection. Thank you. I think you made a connection with the audience as well. <laughs>